Hey guys, welcome to the first geometry lesson for newbies. Uh, we're assuming that you know nothing about geometry, so if you feel like that you have been lost while you were in class, in school, or whatever, um, start with these lessons and uh, you should be fine by the end um, of these uh, geometry lessons. Okay, the first thing we want to discuss is what is an angle? Well, an angle is a figure formed by two lines sharing the same endpoint. So what that means is I'm going to just draw two lines, line number one, line number two. And here we have an angle. So you can see how these two lines share the same endpoint. So this is the endpoint and here is the angle between the two lines now this angle is bigger than for example this angle right because the two lines are closer together so this is a smaller angle than uh, this angle which is a bigger angle Okay, so how do we measure the size of angles? Well, angles are measured in degrees. Okay, so for example, let's say if this angle was uh, 30 degrees or 40 degrees, then this angle here is probably about 5 degrees. Right, so the size of angles, the size of angles are measured in degrees. Okay, so let's have a look at a program that I'm going to use to illustrate the size of angles, which is GeoGebra. So here I have um, just one single line. Now I'm going to create another line from point C uh, so when I drag this line upwards you can see that the program shows you the angle between them so right now it's 8.3 degrees and the further I drag this dot C apart the line moves in a clockwise fashion around point A and you can see the angle getting bigger so now we have 40 degrees, getting bigger, getting bigger. And 90 degrees is what we call a right angle. And it's about, it's the same angle as the corner of a square or a rectangle. So we also call that a right angle. So 90 degrees is a right angle which is also the corner of a square or rectangle right so if you remember when we draw a square or a rectangle or something like that all the corners are 90 degrees and 90 degrees is represented by this symbol here so instead of a round shape that you draw to represent an angle, a 90 degree angle is uh, usually represented with a square corner. Okay, so as we drag this angle to make it bigger and bigger, you will see that a straight line is a hundred and eighty degrees so it's not showing you right now but um, you can see that we got 177 170 uh, basically it gets to 180 degrees so when we have a straight line the angle is 180 degrees now, when the angle gets bigger than the straight line, um, 
it's going to go over 180 to uh, three quarters of the full rotation, we, uh, which is 270 degrees. Now, we also have different names for angles. So when an angle is between zero degrees to uh, 90 degrees, so between zero and 90, we call it um, acute angle. So zero to uh, smaller than 90, we call it acute angle. Uh, and then from 90 to 180, we call it um, obtuse angle. So notice when I say 0 to 90, we're not including the 90 because 90 degrees is a right angle. Okay, so now we have 90 to 180 is obtuse angle. 180 to uh, 360, we call it reflex angle. So back in GeoGebra, you can see that um, I'm going to make this angle a bit bigger all the way to 360 degrees, which is a whole rotation back to the original point is 360 degrees. And somehow it disappears after a whole uh, circular rotation around the point. So the first few angle rules you're going to learn is number one, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, for example, let's say point C is here. Now, if I make another angle uh, between uh, this line and my line on the bottom, you can see that right now there are two angles. Angle A, which is between this line and this line angle B which is between this line and this line and when I drag these two this line around these two angles always add up to 180 degrees right so 82 plus 97 uh, is about 180 52 plus 127 around 180 and so on so these two angles this angle and this angle, they always add up to 180 because they're on a straight line. And the next thing you're going to learn is number two, angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So let's try that. So I'm going to make another angle, um, which is uh, so here I have three angles all surrounding the same point. As you know, that the whole way around a point is 360 degrees. So when I move these dots around, these three angles will always add up to 360 degrees, no matter how I rearrange them. Uh, 81.5 plus 109 plus 169.5 will always add up to 360 degrees. Okay, thanks for watching the basic uh, geometry lesson. I'll see you again next time.